Hey there flippers and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So in today's video we are heading back out to Lazy Bones Boot Fair. But unfortunately this is going to be the last one for the year. So yeah, bit of gutted about that because it was a really good trip last week. Fingers crossed it'll be just like that again this week. Uh, especially with it being the last one. But yeah, we will see. So just uh, sitting here waiting for the gates to open. Uh, I think I've got about another 40 minutes until it opens. And yeah, I'll get parked up, get you mounted to the backpack, and we'll see what we can find. Oh, I know what. Oh, you know what. You know what, do you? Yeah. Oh, I've got iron. Oh, okay. As long as you know what. How much did you have on it? Huh? How much did you have on it? How much? Yeah. Just three quid. Three quid, yeah? Yeah. It does work. Yeah, go on in. Thanks a lot, have a good day. About nice. Eight pounds? Eight. Do five? No. Yeah, well, I've got. Oh, go on then. You've got five of there. <laughs> All right, cheers. You alright there? What do you have on the gaming bits? Sorry? How much do you have on these bits? You want to take the old lot? Give me a price. Uh, so, that's just the controllers and that. Uh, there, what, sorry? Yeah, you've got the oh, it is. It Everything. is there, okay. Everything's there. Uh, 10. Done. Yeah? Yeah, get rid of it. You right there? What do you have on your games? There you go, well organised. <laughs> That's not that him when I did done that, bless him. <laughs> Four pounds. Uh, eight. There you go, Robert. Thank you very Cheers, much. thanks a lot. Ah, this is yours. Sorry, mate. How much you on that? How much you got on Seven on that. How much? Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just 50p that side. Yeah. 
<laughs> Fair enough. Camera. Yeah. How much did you have on it? Sorry? How much did you want for it? 40. It's only 40. Used once. Right. Everything's in there. Alright, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Uh, right, I'll switch in a bit. Yeah. Alright then, switch in a bit. Bye. Cheers. Alright, what's she having that? It's four pounds. Four pounds. Okay. Yeah, go on, grab that. Instructions are in there. How Amazing. I'm going to need them. <laughs> you will do. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Enjoy it, guys. Yeah, they were fun. You're going to enjoy them today. Yeah, all right, mate. How much have you that? Uh, good question. I didn't see that in there. Um, you got the charger for it? Yes, it has. So, right for the sat nav. A couple of quid. A couple of quid? Joking. Yeah. I don't know. I've got probably 10 pounds. I'll use that for work. I didn't know it was there. I'm sorry, I'm going to argue. Uh, 10 pounds. 10. All right, yeah, I'll leave it for 10. All right, thanks. How much was you thinking? Because I'll do a book for this. Five, I'd probably go for five yeah, on it. Five, yeah? Yeah. 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 That's all right. Sorry, you caught me off guard. And, uh, <laughs> That's all right, mate. <laughs> I know you're in the <laughs> middle of setting up. Time it needs to go, so yeah. I appreciate that. There you Thanks go, mate. So much, mate. All right, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Have a good day. Cheers. What's your name? Um, what is 
there's chargers. Hands each for the chargers. Yeah. Um, that oh, went on longer than me. Cool. Have you got the charger for it? It's in there. I don't know what it looks like. Sorry. That's alright, I'll have a quick look. Sorry about that. Okay. No, no, no. Do six of the charges and a dot for eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Did you find that one for that? Is that in there? What's that? Did you find the charger for the. No. Dot? Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. Thank you. All right. Okay, so we are back from the boot fair, and yeah, quite an interesting one today. We've got some different bits, some bits that we wouldn't normally pick up. So let's dive straight in and have a look at what we've got. So first one we're going to look at is the Nintendo Wii bundle at the back. Uh, we worked out we paid £6 for that. We actually paid a tenner for the whole lot. Um, but it was a couple of games that I didn't have in my personal collection. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to keep hold of them. So it works out I paid £6 for this bundle. Um, looking it up online, they sell for about £40. But what I'm probably going to do is probably going to add in a couple of extra games uh, because we've got, obviously, Wii Sports and then a fishing game and a fitness game. Not really great games, so I've got a couple of spares that should make it a bit um, bit more interesting. Uh, it should sell for about £40, which would be a £23.88p profit. Next up, we've got the Thomas the Tank Trackmaster playset. Uh, this is Thomas's Volcano Drop. Um, I've been, I haven't actually had a chance to pull it all out and test it yet, um, and make sure everything's there. But I paid four pound for it. If everything is there, it should sell for about twenty-five pounds, which would be just over nine pounds profit. Then the bit of a bust today was the um, the bush. Uh, vintage radio well it looks vintage but it's actually a more modern um sort of remake basically um paid 15 pound for this um <clears throat> it was actually under the advice of a subscriber uh who shall remain nameless <laughs> um but obviously i have spoke to him since um and he asked me about this and i was like yeah um won't really make a lot on it um actually i'll make nothing on it because it will sell for about 25 pounds um, and once shipping and everything like that is done um i will actually make a one pound 83 loss on this so hopefully i can tweak the price a bit to at least break even but yeah it is what it is i'll be honest i don't i don't blame the uh the person that gave me the advice on it in the slightest i have been looking at these myself um i see them quite often and i keep considering sort of picking one up and yeah this was the one that i ended up picking up and yeah just a bit of a bust but that is a learning curve at the end of the day if i lose a pound to learn something new then that's all good then we've got the xbox games so star wars battlefront uh paid a pound only sells for about four pounds so it's a couple of pence i think 39p profit on that uh nothing major at all but the absolutely cracking bundle of the day um now this might look like just a bundle of cables but these are actually um <clears throat> well all the cables all the loose cables in the front that you can see are uh power cables for the microsoft surface um so just like what i use um for doing my figures uh, there you go <laughs> um oh god's sake <laughs> there you go so just what i use for doing my figures um i also use what use a microsoft surface for work as well and yeah as soon as i saw them i knew exactly what they were obviously we've got the docking station up the top there as well um i know that the docking station uh that will that brand new sells for about 150 to 200 pounds 
So uh, this one is boxed. Um, I have got the power supply for it as well. Um, so that is complete. Uh, so yeah, we ended up paying. Uh, it worked out. We paid a pound for each of the power cables. And then two pound for the docking station. Uh, the power cables will sell for about £30 each. And then the docking station will sell for £45 each. So yeah, absolutely cracking. £20 each profit on the power adapters and £32 on the docking station. So really, really good there. Then we've got the Pokemon EV uh, Builder Bear. Uh, needs a bit of a clean up, but we paid £3 for this. Um, it will sell for about 15 um, and that would land us a £6.18p profit. And then the, I think it is, yeah, the best... Uh, best pickup of the day was actually the TomTom. -tom. So this is the TomTom -tom Go 60 sat nav with mount and cables. Uh, picked it up for a fiver and similar ones are selling online for about £60. So that would be a £42.32p profit. It's really good. Then we've got Samsung camera. We paid £3 for this. It should sell for about £18. And then to wrap up, we've got the pair of women's Nike Air uh, Harake Run Ultra. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. Um, pick them up for a fiver. They'll sell for 45, which is really good. Um, and that will be a £29 profit. So that is everything that we've picked up today at the last Lazy Bones Boot Fair of the year. Um, so let's switch over to the other camera. And then we will run through the totals. So that is all the pickups for today's video. But before we wrap up, I'm just going to quickly run through the totals. So total spend today was £50 exactly. Uh, total predicted sale price is going to be £457. And that would land us a potential profit of £271.34p. Which is really, really good. Um, as I say... I am really, uh, or I've been really enjoying the Lazy Bones boot fairs. Uh, we've obviously only had two weeks at them. Uh, this week was the last week of them. Uh, I don't know if I've said that in the video before. Uh, but yeah, this week was the last week. Um, but yeah, as soon as it opens next season, um, I will be uh, going back and I will be doing videos there as well. Um, but before we... Before we head off, we're also going to have a look at the breakdown for today as well. So, we spent an hour and 41 minutes at the boot fair. Uh, we got 15 items that we can list. So, it's six minutes an item. That works out to be an hour and 30 minutes. So, our total time invested in today's boot fair is three hours and 11 minutes. And working that out at a per hour um, sort of profit is going to be £88.24, and p which is really, really good. Um, as I say, I if I if I can hit anywhere sort of around the £50 mark, I'm happy. Anything over that, I'm really, really happy. Um, I did actually work out uh, the other night what I earn um, per hour in my day job. And it's nowhere near that... <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah just yeah another really good really good day at the boot fair and as i say looking forward to next year to be able to get back out to lazy bones hopefully next year we will be uh back to the saturday boot fair as well so fingers crossed um yeah we'll have a, a really good season next year but um we are not done for the boot fairs this year uh, I, I've got another four videos filmed of um, Sunday boot fairs. So the boot fair itself wrapped at the Sunday boot fair finished. Uh, I want to say two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. Let me have a quick look. Do you know what? I honestly can't remember. I'm 99% sure it was two weeks ago that it wrapped up. Um, so I've got uh, four more videos filmed. Um, so you will be seeing those uh, over the next sort of couple of weeks. 
Uh, I think, obviously you've got this one. Next week will be a Sunday boot fair. Then we'll do another sales review video and then we've got another, I've got another couple. Uh, so yeah, with that said, that is gonna wrap up today's video. But before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.